that in terms of great, you have your idea, you're clear about where you're fitting in within this larger universe of folks who are working on this. How do you get funded, right? How do you move from, this is something I'm really passionate about, how do I get support to actually execute it? Um, you've got to be able to make your case, right? So making your case is, is speaking to something that Peter brought up, which is outcomes. What is it that you actually want to accomplish? So, you know, it's great to have a vision, but what are you working backwards from? How is the world different after your idea exists? Um, and if you are very clear about how the world is different and for whom and why that matters, then you can have a very compelling case, mm -hmm. right? Um, and ultimately, whether you are pitching that to a particular person or whether you are pitching that to an institution like a foundation, um, or whether you're pitching that to a corporation, you still have to be able to tell that story in a meaningful way that is both about the kind of power and passion of your idea and the nuts and bolts bottom line, this is what I'm going to do and this is how I'm going to measure it. So that whole testing idea that you're open and fluid and you're gonna kind of gather information as you do, it's still within the lens of these outcomes, right? Um, I tried it this way and I got part of the outcomes, but not all of them. I'm, I'm trying. So I switched over here. Now I've gotten 90% of the outcomes that I'm looking for, right? So you're making those adjustments in a targeted, strategic way, right? It's not just willy nilly, it's only to try, right? So I'm just going, you know, kind of in all, all these different directions. Um, and I think that's really kind of the bottom line.